skipping the long lines at Disneyland, the loophole for bonus rides, and the top tips to ride the newest attractions with minimal weights. I'll cover it all in this guide to the paid Disneyland Genie Plus service that allows you to access shorter lines. This service, which you'll operate from your smartphone, is now essential for a great day at Disneyland. So it's a key topic for us to dive into here on Mickey Visit, where we help you to save money and experience more at Disney and beyond. We've become Genie Plus pros since Disneyland launched the new service. This video combines our beginner's intro info and our expert hacks based on tons of use since the service launched. I'm Gavin from Mickey Visit, back with more of the best of Disneyland. Before we dive in, I want to set the table a little bit for those who haven't visited Disneyland before or haven't visited in a while. When you visit Disneyland, many attractions, 23 to be exact, have two or more lines to enter. There's a standby line where guests can go and line up normally to ride that ride. Then there's another line that's now labeled the Lightning Lane. This is a shorter line and you get to cut in front of part of the standby line in the Lightning Lane. You'll see these two lines marked at the front of attractions with signs. Previously, this line was accessed via the Paper Fast Pass system and then the Digital Max Pass system. But today, all that you need to know is that Genie Plus is the system to access this second, I'll say, shorter, some might even say cooler line. The aim of this video is to get you into this line as much as possible. Look, here I am, along with my family on a recent trip, headed into the lightning lane to cut the main part of Soarin' Over the World. Though I just simplified it, Genie Plus can be complicated. We put together a free printable with all the attractions and our top tips and reminders for when you're in the parks. You can download it to your phone or print it out it's a really helpful resource to have it with you. Scan the QR code on the screen now, or go to the URL here to get our free Mickey Visit Genie Plus cheat sheet. When you grab the sheet, you'll also get access to our free newsletter, where over 100,000 Disney fans get access to the latest Disney discounts, news, and more. Love to see you on there. Now, before I show you the mechanics of how to book a Disney Genie Plus slot, let me tell you a little bit more about what you can get with Genie Plus. You get the ability to ride each of these attractions on the screen now, one time per day. If you have a park hopper ticket, you can access both Disneyland Park and Disney California Adventure Park, so you have the opportunity to ride all of the attractions across both. With a single park ticket, you'll be able to ride the rides in the park you start in. There are popular attractions that are not included on this list that did previously include FastPass. Access to the shorter line for these attractions is purchased separately and individually. This is a separate service called Individual Lightning Lane. Unlike Genie Plus Reservations, which only allow you to book the next currently available time slot, Individual Lightning Lane lets you pick the time for the entire day. I'll get into the prices for these Individual Lightning Lane attractions with the pricing for Genie Plus in just a bit. There are also a number of attractions throughout the park that are neither offered with the normal Genie Plus nor with the Individual Lightning Lanes. That's for a number of reasons. It often relates to just physical space. I know Disney would love to offer Genie Plus for Peter Pan at Disneyland if they could. Disneyland Genie Plus also comes with other perks. My favorite other perk is unlimited downloads of PhotoPass photos. You can have any of the Disney cast members in the PhotoPass vests take your photo and then scan your Disneyland app and the photos will appear there for your unlimited download use while you have Genie Plus for that day. You'll also get your on-ride attraction photos included. Just a quick pro tip, we like to take our castle photos on the left-hand side of the drawbridge into Sleeping Beauty Castle for the best angle. You can always ask your PhotoPass photographer to walk over there with you, so get the normal line and then bring your PhotoPass photographer over if they don't suggest it. Now, you've heard high level what Genie Plus is, but let's get into the logistics. Genie Plus starts at one set amount per day currently $30, and gives you access to the shorter lines at 20 attractions at both Disneyland Park and Disney California Adventure Park. You notice that I said the price starts at $30. That's because the price actually only goes up from there. The more crowded the day or more popular Disney expects Disney Genie Plus to be on that day, the more expensive the service will be if you book day of, because you can actually pre-book the service in advance at Disneyland. When you do this, you can lock in the lower per day price. Genie Plus has hit upwards of $30 per day during recent crowded days. Though rare, the service does also sell out, so buying in advance locks that in too. Pre-purchasing also removes the additional steps of fumbling with your phone to buy Genie Plus when you first walk into the parks. If you think you'll want it for the whole trip, I highly recommend that. You should know that you can get the lowest prices on two through five day Disneyland tickets exclusively for Mickey Visit followers from our travel partner, Getaway Today. They've worked with Disneyland for nearly 35 years 
and they give us exclusive lower prices than they even offer on their own website. Go to mickeyvisit.com slash DL dash ticket or scan the QR code on the screen for access to these lower prices. Again, that's mickeyvisit.com slash DL dash ticket. By buying through the link, you support our content and you get access to the lowest prices on tickets anywhere. Now that's what I call a win-win. Let me show you how to buy Genie Plus. So to purchase Genie Plus day of, you'll go to the home screen, you'll see the button where it says Disney Genie Plus cert purchase, it'll, it'll list the price for the day, it, you'll see $25 per guest listed, click purchase, it'll come to this kind of ad screen where it has an overview, things I mentioned, photo pass, fun included thing that you can explore, click get Genie Plus service. Here you'll see your confirmed party. You'll only see people who are scanned into the parks because you can only buy once you're scanned in. You'll select here. Now you're, you're loading. We're into the screen here where you'll enter your credit card information. Purchase. You can then go back to the main app and follow our next instructions on how to use Disney Genie Plus. Now you have Genie Plus paid for on your tickets. Let's make a reservation for an attraction. Using the Disneyland app, you can go down to your tip board or the map to click on an attraction to see what the return is. Let's go from the tip board. So you're here on the tip board, you click over, then you can scroll down and take a look at all the attractions. This is what the tip board looks like once you've paid for Genie Plus. You can see your return times there, and then also the current standby line. So as we're scrolling around, we're taking a look to see what attractions there are. From here, you'll click on one of these rides. Here's Space Mountain, let's check that one. Now you select your whole party right here. Select. You can click select all. Then here you are, reservation made, there's the details, you can redeem between those different times, come back and use it this way. Now, another way to get there is to start on the Disneyland map, as you see here, see you're moving around, you see different wait times, click on Star Tours, as I just did, then you can click Lightning Lane, those double L's right there, and that will take you over to the tip board to that same location, scroll down, find Star Tours, select the Genie Plus, go from there. Once you make the selection, this, then the selection will show up in the My Plan section of the app. Once it's time for re your renewal window, you'll go to the entrance of the attraction and scan the code on the screen, your paper ticket, or scan your Magic Ant Band Plus to enter the Genie Plus Lightning Lane. You can always also see what Genie Plus reservations you currently hold by going to the main tip board screen. Now, here's a note, Magic Bands from Walt Disney World Vacations can't be used at Disneyland, but the newer Magic Band Plus bands that were sold at both Disneyland and Walt Disney World can be used, connected to Genie Plus, used as a ticket to enter the parks, or a way to scan in here. They're still expanding the features um, to apply to other parts of the parks, but they rolled this out um, earlier in 2023. Now, a pro tip. You can arrive five minutes before your listed arrival time and scan in, and your scan will work as if normal. You can also arrive for about 15 minutes beyond your scan in time, and it will also still remain normal. If you're any more than 15 minutes late for your Genie Plus return time, the scanner will not turn green, and a cast member will have to pull your reservation up, and it'll be up to them to handle late arrivals on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, I would like to pause and say this is a great time to remind all of us, me, you, everyone, it's a stressful day at Disneyland. It's just as busy and hectic for Disneyland cast members. They're there to keep everyone safe, make sure everyone has a great time, and have to enforce the rules. Now, in a situation like this, if they make magic for you, that's great. But if they don't, don't get mad at them. The parks go on, you'll still have a great day, and just follow along and listen to the cast members. They're working really hard to make sure we all have a great day at the theme parks. Now, finally, we can get into it. Our top tips for using Disney Genie Plus at Disneyland. The best tips for using Genie Plus come truly from knowing all of the intricacies and rules of the system. Each rule leads to a new opportunity to make the most of the service. Rule number one, you can only make a second Genie Plus reservation once your first one has been redeemed or if two hours have passed since you made the first reservation. Now, there are two tips on this rule. If your return time is less than two hours away, be sure to immediately get another Genie Plus reservation right after your entire group scans into the queue for the attraction you hold the Genie Plus Pass for first. This will be especially helpful in the morning when return times should be closer together and you can make better use of Genie Plus. Now, if your return time is more than two hours away, I like to literally set an alarm on my phone for two hours from the time 
that you have set to make the next reservation so I'm always maximizing use of the service. The Disneyland app will also show you when you can book your next time, but it won't alert you, so you wanna have that alarm. Now, rule number two, you can only ride on each attraction once per day with Genie Plus. Keep in mind that with bigger groups, the slot on certain tickets may go unused if some people aren't big enough or aren't interested in certain attractions. Recently, we took my 85-year-old grandmother to Disneyland, and though she was thrilled with getting to go on tons of attractions, the Incredicoaster, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout were not things she was going to ride. But we still made sure to maximize her Genie Plus reservations for those attractions because we used them ourselves. So my sister and I actually got to go on additional attractions because we could use her slots to then go on Incredicoaster twice, Guardians of the Galaxy twice. Maximize the group for the best repeatable rides. The next key feature to know is that now you have the option of changing your Genie Plus reservation in the Disneyland app by clicking Modify Plan. You'll be able to see what other options you can select for times for that attraction and others. You can check the Modify Plan option to see if earlier return times for that attraction or others have opened up because people have canceled those top spots. Or it's a good way just to change your plans without giving up your current plan so you still hold on to your slot then you can go in and modify just like a you know airline would do today digitally rule number three when an attraction breaks down this is a big one your genie plus pass for that attraction turns into a multiple experience pass these passes work just the way that they sound you can now use this pass that you previously had for some other attraction for various experiences at disneyland or Disney California Adventure. A multiple experience pass is like a free pass to other attractions of the park, even if they're one you've ridden before. The rides at Disneyland for this pass are broken up into tiers. If the ride reservation you booked was a top tier ride in Disneyland Park, which Disney defines as Indiana Jones, Space Mountain, or the Matterhorn bobsleds, then you can use that pass on almost anything in the park except for Peter Pan and Rise of Resistance. If it were for another attraction, it will exclude those rides to as if it wasn't an e-ticket Genie Plus reservation. At Disney California Adventure, the e-ticket attractions are Toy Story Midway Mania and Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Again, those are those top tiers. This is how you're able to ride something like Jungle Cruise, one of the Fantasyland attractions that I mentioned earlier that's not on Genie Plus, still using Genie Plus. While it might be disappointing if a ride breaks down, you get a great golden ticket out of this experience. We'll talk more about the multiple experience passes in just a bit and how to truly maximize their value. These are our top general tips for Disney Genie Plus beyond our rules-based tips. Have a plan for using Disney Genie Plus in the morning. If you're following a good morning strategy like the Mickey Visit morning strategy for both Disneyland and Disney California Adventure, which you can find on mickeyvisit.com, then you'll get the most out of your Genie Plus purchase. You should plan on arriving to Disneyland at least 40 minutes before park opening and use that first hour of the day riding rides with lower wait times as you're just starting to use your Lightning Lane passes. Next, we really do recommend you pre-purchase Disney Genie Plus on your tickets. I highly recommend you add Disney Genie in advance on your multi-day tickets to avoid the hassle of scanning in your tickets and entering credit card information while you're trying to keep up with the rest of your group, have a good time, make magical memories while walking into Disneyland or Disney California Adventure for your first attraction. Next, get a Park Hopper ticket because you'll enjoy way more attractions on your single day. Park hopping tickets let you go back and forth between Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. Right now it starts at 11 a.m. each day. You can start looking for return times for the opposite park around 10 a.m. to book a reservation. So you're then ready to go over to Disneyland, ready to go to Disney California Adventure. This lets you take advantage of all the attractions that are included with Genie Plus. It maximizes that value of Genie Plus for the day. Another reminder tip is that Genie Plus is just one tool for your Disneyland trip. Be sure to follow along on mickeyvisit.com to find other tips like our morning strategies, guide to using mobile order, how to use our itineraries, staying late, arriving early, all critical information again at makeyvisit.com. Now, it's expert tip time. This is like a 400 level class in college. You've learned the basics. Now here we are letting you level up as a Genie Plus Pro. This tip is so secret that I'm hesitant to even give it out to you. Remember those multiple experience passes we talked about earlier? Well, these passes are essentially a golden ticket to many of the other attractions in the park. If you ride a reservation for a top tier attraction like Indiana Jones Adventure, Space Mountain, and Matterhorn Bobsleds, then you can redeem it on any ride except for Peter Pan and Rise of Resistance. 
this is the way to get to the front of long lines for attractions that don't even offer Genie Plus or get to use Genie Plus on favorite attractions you've already ridden in your day. Now, what I'm about to share with you is called fishing for multiple experience passes by some. This is the act of booking Genie Plus passes with the hope they turn into multiple experience passes so you get that golden ticket. There are a few key attractions at Disneyland that either break down often in the day or are not ready at park opening. The most notorious of these is Indiana Jones Adventure. By booking Indiana Jones Adventure as your first reservation of the day, you are more likely than you think to get a multiple experience pass. And if not, you get to ride one of my favorite rides at Disneyland, Indiana Jones Adventure. You can also fish for multiple experience passes by booking a return window for rides you notice that are temporarily closed in the Disneyland app. The closer that the return time is to the current time when the ride is closed, the better. In the best case scenario, it would work like this. You're going to book a Genie Plus Pass, then you notice that Big Thunder Mountain is temporarily closed, but the return time is still five minutes from now. If the ride is still closed when your return window comes, you will be issue a multiple experience pass. Now our other final expert hack is to continually refresh the Disneyland app later in the day once the return times for attractions start to run low. If other guests cancel their Genie Plus reservations or res more reservations are released, you'll see those available in the return times in the app. Be quick to grab ones you see if you want these because they go really fast, but if you see one, they're great to grab. You're also able to use that modify reservation feature we talked about to check on other times here if you already have a Genie Plus Pass. You're now armed with the best knowledge of Genie Plus, and you're ready to make the most of your day at Disneyland to experience the most attractions with the lowest wait times. All this talk of Genie Plus has made me want to hop back into Disneyland to have a jam-packed day filled with attractions and fun. I truly hope all this has been helpful and that you're now ready to have a great day at Walt Disney's original Magic Kingdom Disneyland and the great new Disney California Adventure Park. As a reminder, be sure to get our free Disneyland Genie Plus cheat sheet by scanning QR code on the screen here or going to the URL. Download the sheet and join us on our Mickey Visit newsletter where over 100,000 people get tons of news, discounts, and all the latest important information for planning your trip. Thank you for watching today. This has been Gavin from Mickey Visit. Hit that subscribe button. We have so much more coming as we roll out the best of Disney. We'll see you here and in the parks.